I've never had somebody say, I hate your energy. Yeah. They may say, hey, look, I, you're, you're a little extreme for me. I'll say, hey, I apologize. Look, in a world full of people that really don't care a lot, I care too much. And I'm sorry if that has offended you. Would you like me to tone down the caring a little bit? <laughs> uh, Let's talk more tactical now, right? You had mentioned um, downstairs before we um, got on the show, you were like, yeah, you know, people think I'm a hype man sometimes. And they come in like, ah, oh, this is just all rah, rah hype. And then all of a sudden I hit them with the tactical and they're like, wow, this is totally different. So what are some tactical things that you teach salespeople? Okay, so number one, there's a couple of different things. Obviously, um, I believe in being deadly on the phone, okay? Like being deadly on the phone's a big deal. Your company uses the phone a lot, would you yep. agree? Yep. Every, every company uses the phone a lot. Now, with Zoom being so big, because kind of what happened with COVID, people yep. distancing, you gotta be good also on Zoom, okay? Mm -hmm. Also on top of that, you gotta be good at talking, gotta be good at speaking. Listen, I'll ask everybody right now, are you guys a public speaker? Yes, yes you are. You speak to people publicly every single day, whether it's one or 10,000, right? Right. Some people don't wanna hear you. So one of the first things that we do is that we teach people how to say common things in uncommon ways. Look, the old people that were taught how to do things in your industry or this industry, look, the same regurgitated training is out there. You know what that means? Those people are calling saying the same thing. What's the difference between you and everybody else? Right. The way you sound, the way you talk, the way you speak, and the way you make them feel. And by the way, do you sound like you're the trusted advisor and the damn trusted guide while you're on the phone with them? Do you sound like the expert, mm -hmm. right? Do you sound like the person that they've been looking for to solve their problems? Or do you sound like somebody just giving out information? Right. Right? So one of the biggest things that we do is that we teach um, tactical, like what to say. Okay, like when you answer the phone, hope you're having the best day of your life. This is Andy, how can I help you today? Little things like that. Yeah, that instead of, difference. this is Andy, okay. Hey, by the way, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Oh my God, look, I'm gonna reset my computer, it takes 30 seconds of my time, then I'm gonna get you all the information you need. By the way, where are you calling from today? Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Hey, I wanna stop the video real quick and show you, I just released my brand new book called The Book of Deadly Scripts. You wanna know how to overcome any objection in the world? You wanna know how to literally pick up the phone and every single time you do, create a hot end market buyer who wants to buy a vehicle, do me a favor, shoot me a text right now, 918-210-0254. I don't have this book for sale on the website. If you'll shoot me a text, I'll send you the link so you can buy it. Let's crush it and kill it. This book will change your life. It just got released. Let's get back to the video. Why did you reach out about that? Look, what am I doing now? Now I'm connecting with you. Right. Name a sales pro or anybody on the phone that can reach out, call somebody, pause, slow down the cell, make a connection, build a relationship, and then say, hey, by the way, my computer's back up. Peter, it's awesome dealing with you. I'm just gonna tell you this. You remind me of my dad. He's amazing. By the way, my dad's name's Peter too. So that's crazy. Yeah. I, we're family. Yeah. And now I go into whatever it is that I'm gonna talk about that you need that's good for you. Now you trust me. People buy from people that remind them of their friends. Done. Right. So we teach people tactically what to say. By the way, so I'm gonna say this to you. I am not good at learning is what I believed. That is, you are good at learning. Everybody learns differently. Mm -hmm. You may retain information by watching a video, by reading it. Some people read it in a book. Listen, if I read a book, I'm not gonna retain it. I have to read it in a book then write it down over here. Mm. I have to. I have spiral notebooks, thousands of them. Wrote down, I write everything down, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. How many times have you watched a YouTube video and you got something valuable out of it, but you didn't write it down, and then later that day, you're trying to think about what it was, you couldn't remember, so you couldn't use it. Right. Write it down, which is what I said at the beginning of this podcast. So tactically, what I would say is whatever it is that you do, I said know your business so well, right, that you can find your own holes, you can be undeniably the best. How does that happen? Well, what is it you do? Well, so if I deal face to face with somebody, right? My number one thing is I'm gonna have to go out and make a best friend with you within two minutes, mm -hmm. okay? Because I'm face to face with you. I'm going to have to make a connection with you that's going to make you think, man, you know what? I just drove 30 minutes with my family to get here or I just came here from this place. This guy's awesome. Right. You know what? I wanna do business with this guy, but not only do I wanna do business, I've already made that decision before we've even talked numbers or product or anything. Right. And you know what? They've made that decision. By the way, they're judging you. People are judging you all the time. So if they're gonna judge you, Give them something to judge, right? <laughs> Be good. And by the way, guess what? I've never had somebody say, I hate your energy. Yeah. They may say, hey, look, you're, you're a little extreme for me. I'll say, hey, I apologize. Look, in a world full of people that really don't care a lot, I care too much. And I'm sorry if that has offended you. 
Would you like me to tone down the carrying a little bit? <laughs> uh, no, we good? We good? Okay, cool. Guess what? Learn to speak, guys. Listen, the number one thing that you'll learn in your life that will advance your life forward faster than anything else is to learn how to speak. And I'm going to give you an example, okay? Number one, if you want to brand yourself and you want to get out there and you want the whole world to know who you are, you're going to have to learn how to talk. Right. Well, how do you do that? Put your pressure, yourself under pressure. Pressure makes diamonds, period. Or burst pipes, like you don't break pipes on some people, but it makes diamonds. You learned how to speak because you got in front of that camera, mm -hmm. you did not like it, you watched your video and you said, oh my God, mm -hmm. I cannot do this again. Well, you gotta do it again because there's not another way to get your name out there without getting on a camera. So you got to get good. Also, what it allowed you to do is run your sales team better too. It also allowed you to communicate, which by the way, being a master communicator tactically Right? You want to know real tactical stuff? Learn to communicate. People like we're having this podcast right now. This is natural. There's no none stage. This is all skill. Skill that's learned from years of losing and getting your butt beat. Right. And and failing, which is great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like you said, I don't. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to lose money. Hey, if the market shifts, I can't control that. There's uncontrollables, but there's controllables. Mm -hmm. This is a controllable. Tactically, if I was to give you within 30 seconds how I think every person in life should live, wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Get up before the sun comes up because you're beating your competition. You're already ahead of it. Get out of the house. Go to the gym. Get your heart moving. Run. Do something that gets your blood flowing. It'll put you in a great mood. Exercise so you live longer and so you have more energy. Yep. Secondly, go home and study something. Dedicate 30 minutes of your time to study. Change your eating. Eat clean food. If you put good food in your body, your brain's going to operate right. You're going to do well. And you're going to look better. And by the way, who doesn't want to deal with somebody that's better looking? <laughs> at the end of the day, I told him last night, I said, dude, look at your hair. He's got gray hair. I have no hair. Okay? <laughs> Listen, I said, I'm not that great of a looking of a guy. I know that. So you know what I do? I work out. I have an eight pack. So I can look better. Okay? I'm trying everything I can to put things in my court, right? I, I want to increase my odds. Let's call it that, right? right. Like, Be the best version of you. Yeah, so. like pre predictive analytics, right? Like if you want to watch the data, a person that actually is better looking is going to be able to deal with someone and stay with them longer than a person who isn't. Remember, I told you I was out of shape. Look, I mean, it's just the truth. My wife, she's like, hey, you got to dress better, right? She busted me up last night for wearing shorts, right? <laughs> she's like, I can't believe you wore shorts. I'm like, what? She's like, 16 years we've been together and you packing shorts in a suitcase. You need to wear slacks when you go out to business meetings. And I'm like, damn it, I'm always get my butt ripped. But she's, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. I need to dress nicer. But you talked about tactically what you can do. Get up, study, study somebody, find somebody. And by the way, don't study them to just watch them. Learn exactly everything that they're saying and then practice saying it, duplicate it. If I was watching him, I would literally go through and I'd write down everything that he says that I like and then guess what would happen? I would practice it, I'd mm -hmm. repeat it, I'd learn your to tonality, I'd learn your dialect. Mm -hmm. Like, when do you slow down in your words? When do you speed up? I stuttered when I was younger. And this, and most people never get out of stuttering, but this guy told me, he goes, hey, learn how to slow down your words. Yeah. So really it helped me be a better closer because I, I play chess now instead of checkers. When I go to say something, I know already what I'm gonna say before I say it so I can slow down my words. Yeah, you can start predicting what people are gonna say. Yeah, and it's a skill. Yeah. So like tactically, what would I tell you to do? Well, who do you want to be like right now? Just think about it, okay? You're not a second rated version of them, you're a first rated version of yourself, but who do you want to emulate? Right. Study them, write it down. Write down everything you say, learn it. Listen, become obsessed mm -hmm. with learning everything this guy knows and learn it better than him. Yeah. And so, so tactically, that would be a great way to study somebody. It doesn't cost you any money, it just costs what equity. Yeah, just emulate them. So I've got a couple of tactical questions, things that we've learned over the years from other sales trainers and just you know reading books and other things. So I'm just gonna hit you with them. Let's go. One question, um, or one, um, I don't wanna even call them myths, but maybe things that just are common beliefs. Um, you wanna listen 80% of the time and talk 20% of the time. Yeah, I totally agree. Number one, don't be a machine gun sprayer with your mouth. Da, 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 hoping that something sticks eventually right? Mm -hmm. And then they say yes, because you're actually going to say a couple things that you didn't want to say and you can't take those words back. Right. By the way, that's one of the biggest problems with salespeople is they over talk, oversell, and they say things that they shouldn't have said. So what I like to do is I like to say, all right, so what does my business look like? If I'm going to go sell insurance and I call somebody, I know in the first seven to 11 seconds on the phone when I'm talking to them, right. they're going to decide whether they want to spend any more time with me or not. Mm. Okay. So the idea of it is 
you skill up, you get better, you learn what to say. You go through different word tracks, different scripts, different patterns, different things so you learn what to say that does work. And then guess what? Once you do something, you just repeat it. So I would say this, I believe in being a sniper. Yeah. A sniper with my words. If you tell me no, I'm gonna get you to say yes, 100% sure. Okay, in the sales game, any and every objection under the sun, I don't care what it is. If I'm in that space, right? Somebody says, Andy, I sell, um, I sell bathtubs, I don't care. Listen, I'm gonna go through any bathtub objection that you could possibly get, I'm just making that up because right. I like silly stuff. And guess what, I'll take all those down and if you say no to me, my job is, I'm not gonna run my mouth and try to get you to say yes. I am going to say, hey, I totally understand. However, let's look at it from this angle, boom. And I'm gonna close you down, be a sniper. So. 80% listening, yeah, 20% speaking, absolutely, because your customer's gonna tell you, number one, what's their dominant buying motive? Like why, and by the way, if you ask great questions, you'll get great answers, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanna say that the 20% of the time that we're talking, it's really about asking good questions. Let the customer speak. The more that they speak, the more they become comfortable with you. Also, the more they talk to you, the more they become comfortable with you. Guess what? The easier it is for you to sell them because they feel comfortable with you. And all you've got to do is just ask a couple good questions. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, have you had an opportunity to look at one of these yet? Or right. to buy one of these? And by the way, like, is this, am I the first person you spoke with? Or have you spoke to multiple people? If they spoke to multiple people, awesome. Why haven't you pulled the trigger yet? Right. It's really rare that somebody shops this long and hasn't pulled the trigger yet. By the way, was it, are they not treating you great? What's going on? You guys you're, are amazing. You're asking leading questions. When, you, when you're when you only talking 20% of the time, you have to get them to go down the funnel that you want them to go down. Yeah, so ask great questions. Have a list of great questions in your business that allow people to open up, tell more than they want, which is my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. And then also on top of that, you're going to close them based off the information that they give you. Yeah, the more info you have, the more you can be strategic and... Yeah. figure out how to solve their problems. Yeah, and take your top 10 things, like if I was in your space right now, I'd say, oh, and by the way, let me say this, give me the top 10 objections that you struggle with. And I would write out exactly how to handle all those and I would memorize them so well that literally, like people can sing the ABCs, they can sing the happy birthday song, but I can hit them with an objection. They, they're like, uh, 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 uh. I'm like, <laughs> dude, what's your problem, man? You memorize the stupidest stuff, but you can't memorize the stuff that's gonna change your life. <laughs> Do you follow Brad Lee? Guys, it's Andy Elliott right here at my conference room in Scottsdale, Arizona. We are putting on the event of the year, June 4th. Entrepreneurs, salespeople, closers, business owners. You want to build a sales team and learn how to close anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. This is going to be the event. And by the way, Brad Lee isn't going to be here like a speaker at most speaking events. He's personally going to be training from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Everything you need to know to train triple your income this year. And by the way, this is an event that ain't gonna happen again. If you wanna be the best, if you wanna be so great at what you do, you make your competition look like freaking amateurs, this is the place you wanna be. We only got 350 seats, so the spots are gonna go out fast. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. You don't want to miss this event, shoot a text message right now to 918-210-0254. Let's kill it, baby. Let's go.